Charlie Kirk believes that a witch is going after Donald Trump. Now we learn about her love of alchemy. No joke. She posts on her social media page about herbs, about casting a circle, demonic circles, how to cast spells. Not a joke. This is all on her social media page. She actually is a witch. She's into witchcraft. And as soon as I saw a video of her, I said, whoa, that is someone who thinks they're Hermione Granger, like totally. Like she's, she is LARPing on live television, live action role playing, trying to be a serious person. She just, she just can't pull it off. So he's, of course, talking about Emily Coors. Uh, now, she is the forewoman of the grand jury in Georgia. So recently, a report came out that uh, they have recommended the, the jury itself multiple indictments of former President Donald Trump. I'll give you the details of that. Uh, but first, uh, it's ironic, Charlie Kirk talking about how uh, this person is LARPing live action role playing because, you know, his audience is like 75 and has no idea what they're talking about or what he's talking about. Um, oh, yeah, you know, she, she, she's out there LARPing as a serious person. You're the one who's LARPing as a serious person. You're not a serious. Charlie Kirk is not a serious person. <laughs> no, Charlie Kirk is a, a dropout, and I'm not saying that that's that automatically makes you stupid, but he is someone who dropped out to then get paid to put out garbage like this to talk about witchcraft, witchcraft. So it, it is 2023, and you have right wing pundits that are on literal witch hunts. And again, no offense to the Wiccans here, right? But you have to understand. That Charlie Kirk is dumb. And I'm sure you probably already do. <laughs> really, really dumb. And, and that is not a result of any kind of hex. No, he's a literal moron. He thinks this person, Emily Coors, is going out there and trying to hex Donald Trump in order to get him indicted. And by the way, the whole purpose of this uh, is, look, he's trying to basically get uh, this all of the uh, findings by this jury in Georgia thrown out. That's what's going to have, uh, or that's what's that's what he's going to um, hope. That's what he hopes is going to happen. I should say. Uh, now, here's the thing: an investigation by Fannie Williams found no widespread uh, fraud in the uh, Georgia 2020 presidential election that could, you know, result in overturning that election. Sorry, sad day for you, Charlie. Sad day for Trump. Uh, and yet, uh, that's pretty relevant because Trump called Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and said, find me votes. Just find me votes. What, what, do you, what do you mean, find me votes? Either the votes are there or they're not. And in the case of Trump, they were not there. And Raffensperger told, I just, I just need a few more votes than what I have. Now, Coors said that that phone call between Trump and Raffensperger was the primary point of focus in the jury's deliberations, discussions about his election interference. The foreman said that they began deliberations with that infin uh, infamous call, and the grand jury heard from dozens of witnesses over the course of more than six months. So now, uh, she's been doing this media tour, right? And right-wingers have pounced on her. And then CNN started freaking out a little bit. But wait, she didn't break any of the rules and what you're supposed to do. So there's no reason to, you know, uh, I guess, throw this uh, whole thing out and to replace her. But they want her. They, they want her replaced. They want her replaced. And so that's why they're going on this personal attack. Charlie Kirk weirdly going through her social media and be oh, 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 I found it. I found the witchcraft. That's it. Uh, witchcraft, witchcraft. And by the way, going back to the fact that Charlie Kirk is dumb, he thinks that he might have gotten in the past cursed by witches. Is that true? Well, okay, let's hear him tell a story. Some people are emailing us, Charlie, don't make fun of witches. They have a lot of power. That's not true. They do not have a lot of power, but they do have some, if they're really into it, I do believe there's some very dark spiritual 
implications and dynamics here. And look, I've encountered witches before. When I was once speaking, this is not a joke, when I was once speaking at Legacy Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the land of enchantment, which is, in my opinion, the most outwardly pagan state remaining in America. A lot of great Christians, but there's a lot of weird witchcraft that happens in New Mexico. And three witches came up and they started saying stuff at me. And maybe it was a coincidence, maybe it wasn't, but I got super sick right after that. Again, maybe it's just a coincidence, who knows? Maybe you think it's all a bunch of horse pucky and all that, but that was, uh, that was pretty chilling. Mm. Uh, oh, you see, I was cursed by three witches. And I, and I got sick afterwards, so so you, you don't know, you don't know. Maybe it had an effect. I think I think it actually did. So look, uh, let me show you what uh, uh, Charlie Kirk uh, looks like. What what this what this hex may have actually done to Charlie. That's what he really looks like. No joke, no joke. Yeah, I, look at that. So what they have to do now is they have to Photoshop any pictures of Charlie Kirk with a normal face, you see. Uh, and, and of course, video. Video, they, they, they got the, they use like the AI, uh, and you know, they, they basically make his face full size. Witchcraft, it's real. It's real. Charlie Kirk, great example of it, you see.